He's Charlie. Charlie does uh, most things better than I do. But the nice thing about it in this country, I think, is that both Democrats and Republicans um, basically uh, unbalanced believe in the benefits of free trade. And uh, uh, we will we will have disagreements with each other. We'll have disagreements with other countries on trade, but it's just too big and too obvious for uh, that the benefits are huge, and the world's dependent on uh, in, in a major way for its progress. Uh, that two intelligent uh, countries. Uh, will do something extremely foolish. I should say this may be one of the most pointed questions I've ever received for you. I was disturbed when you were asked on CNBC about the role that business could play in sensible policies around the sales of guns. You said you didn't think business should have a role at all. Please tell us you misspoke. I don't think that the my political views, I don't think I put them in a blind trust at all when I take the job. And I, in the election of 2016, I raised a lot of money. In my case, I raised it for Hillary, and I spoke out in various ways that were quite frank. But I don't think that I speak. When I do that, I don't think I'm speaking for Berkshire. I'm speaking as a private citizen, and I don't think I have any business speaking for Berkshire. If Wells Fargo Company is a chronically leaking boat, at what magnitude of leakage would Berkshire consider changing vessels? The fact that you are going to have problems at some very large institution is not unique. In fact, almost every bank has, uh, all the big banks have had troubles of one sort or another. They made a big mistake, but the, uh, uh, I like it as an investment. I like Tim Sloan as a manager, you know, and it, it, it he is correcting mistakes made by other people. I think Wells Fargo is going to be better going forward than it would have been if, it, if these leaks had never been discovered. Or happened. Yeah, so I think it, it uh, but I think Hein Harvey Weinstein has done a lot for improving behavior too. <laughs> yeah. it, it's, the, 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 it was, clearly a, an error, and they're acutely aware of it and acutely embarrassed, and they don't want to have it happen again. The truth is that uh, I've watched Amazon from the start, and I, I think what Jeff Bezos has, has done is something close to a miracle, and, and the problem is if I think Something will be a miracle. I tend not to bet on it. I'm just wondering why you've never bought Microsoft. In the earlier years, it's very clear. It's, the answer is stupidity. But the, uh, <laughs> but it, uh, since Bill has, particularly since Bill has joined the board, but even, even earlier than that, because of our friendship, it would be, it just would be a mistake for Berkshire to buy Microsoft, because if something happened a week later, a month later, in terms of them having better earnings than expected or making an acquisition, anything, both Bill and I would incorrectly, but would be, would be a target of suggestions and accusations, perhaps even, that somehow he had told me something. Cryptocurrencies will come to bad endings, and it, along with the fact that there's nothing being produced in the way of value from the asset, that, that uh, you also have the problem that it draws in a lot of charlatans and that sort of thing who are trying to create various sorts of exchanges or whatever it may be. To me, it's just dementia, and I think the people who are professional traders that go into trading cryptocurrencies, it, it's... It's just disgusting. It's like somebody else is trading turds and you decide I can't be left out. Elon Musk this week on his Tesla earnings call said the following, quote, 
I think moats are lame. They are like nice in a sort of quaint vestigial way. And if your only defense against invading armies is a moat, you will not last long. What matters is the pace of innovation. Is Elon right? There's been uh, more moats that have been become susceptible to invasion uh, than, than seemed to be the case earlier. But, but there's always been the attempt to do it. But certainly, uh, you, know, you can work at certainly should be working at improving your own moat and defending your own moat all of the time. And, and uh, uh, Elon may turn things upside down in, in some areas. Uh, I don't think he'd want to take us on in candy, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've been semi-retired semi for decades. <laughs> well, I've watched Warren for a long time, and... He sits around reading most of the time and thinking, and every once in a while he talks on the phone or talks to somebody. I can't see any great difference. A lot of people... Part of the Berkshire secret is that when there's nothing to do, Warren is very good at doing nothing. 